4x, 4x, everything get 4x. <laughs> What's going on family welcome to UL exchange i appreciate you guys for tuning into this video i'm here to tell you guys about something serious which is why you shouldn't diversify your portfolio this is the main thing we're talking about in this video that's the only thing we'll be talking about in this video but if you guys are new to this channel then subscribe to this channel with the bell notification so you can be notified every single time i drop information packed videos just like the one you're watching right now so this is a critical topic because i see many people saying that you should diversify your portfolio and i've stated it as well but let's get into the nits and the cracks and speak about the reality of most investors that are coming into the space so most investors that are coming into the space don't really have that much capital to begin with so what i advise you guys to do is and what i did in that scenario is when i came into the space and this is just you know just a talk if you don't like it you know if you want to keep diversifying at the end of the day you take the final decision i'm not here to Come into your pockets, take your money and invest it for you. You make the final call. I'm just here to provide you guys with the facts and the truth. Again, you take the final call. So what I've been seeing again is a lot of people saying diversify your portfolio here, diversify your portfolio here, as you should when the time comes. But now when you get started, so let's say when you get started, you start with $100, just a minimum, right? Let's just say you start with $100 and you try to invest into Bitcoin and then you try to invest into Ethereum. And then you go down the list, investing into Binance coin, investing into Polkadot, investing into Cardano, investing into all these things. So you divide $100 into 10 different cryptocurrencies, which is $10 on each one. And then by the time one of them goes up 100%, you only got back $10. You understand what I'm saying now? And then the other ones, they can go to minus 10%, minus 20%. So you got $10. On that first investment let's say bitcoin goes up 100 percent, you get ten dollars and then all of these other tokens you lost your money in so basically you got ten dollars from your hundred dollar investment so i don't believe it's good to diversify your portfolio if you don't have that much capital so if you have a thousand dollars i would say maximum you should invest into two to three cryptocurrencies and the reason i say that is because you have to look at the technology of these cryptocurrencies or any investment, even in the stock markets, even in the forex markets. Forex markets you just trade up and down, but nothing talking about technology unless it comes with fundamentally affecting the markets. Then you don't need to look at technology. But if we're talking specifically about investments in this crypto markets and the, and then in the in the, in the crypto markets and in the stock markets, you have to be very vigilant. That's a term I love using because it keeps you guys on your toes, including myself. You have to understand. Where your money is going and do you believe in the technology like for myself i believe in ripple's technology to grow and expand around the world as it is already doing and as it's already going to be in the future the technology is very brilliant and them providing the odl on demand liquidity and the iso 222 token being involved with ripple and the ripple being the only company and xrp being the only token that is directly linked with the iso 222 message and their specific model to use the token and which is hence xrp is the only one that fits their motto so i believe in that technology so i invest in the company heavily but if i'm not believing in the technology why would i invest in it that's the main thing so if i'm believing in xrp then i'm going to be putting allocating many many of my bags into that project because i believe in that technology and i believe in the project and i know for a fact it will not fail me so instead of you doing $10 here, $100 here, and diversifying your portfolio, get to that level to a point where you can diversify. So let's say if you make a million dollars from crypto, then you can start diversifying. You can put $1,000 here, $10,000 here, and then that $10,000 you put there, let's say it gains up 50%, you already made 5,000. Boom, you see that diversification growing? It's very important to diversify when you have made a certain amount of money to where you are able to diversify it without impacting your financial situation but if you're not keeping and holding what you have and to where you believe a project will outperform any type of market and outperform your thinking i personally allocate much of my money into it and then when i get the returns then i can take that money put it into real estate put it into different cryptocurrencies put it into different stocks and then diversifying it at that point but i don't believe it's a great idea to diversify 
any of your investments until you get to that moment where you have capital to allocate into different investments. So it's just an investment advice, guys. I don't want to get, you know, make this a long video, but I believe it's around five minutes now. And it's a great time to give you guys some information on what's going on in the crypto markets and in the Forex markets and in the stock markets and the markets and the financial markets in general around our world. So stay vigilant as always, guys. And I hope you guys take this advice. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. God bless. Share this video. Like this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay vigilant, guys. And, you know, think about what I said. But you make the final call at the end of the day. God bless. Peace out.